Okay, solving literal equations. Literal equations typically have um, uh, just several different variables, and you have to solve for one of them. And the great thing about literal equations, it's kind of like medicine, it's good for you, but you don't want to do it. It forces you to practice all of your algebra skills. So we know that we want the answer to be x is equal, or maybe x is equal would be over on the other side. So somehow we need x to be in the numerator and we need to be by itself. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is notice these two things are being added together. Uh, there's a couple approaches you could get there's a couple of different ways you could do it. This is how I did it. I decided to get these two to have the same denominator first. So if I'm looking at P over X, the denominator that it doesn't share is Y. So I'm going to multiply Y over Y on this side. And over here, I'm going to multiply this fraction, T over Y, by X over X. And when I do that, I end up with PY over xy plus tx over xy. Those two are the same now. I could rewrite that as py plus tx all over xy is equal to c. And let's see what I've done over here. All right, so then to get rid of this denominator, I just have to multiply both sides by xy. And once I do that, so see what we have here? We have PY plus TX is equal to CXY. Since the X is over here, let's get this X to that side by doing what I did here is subtract TX on both sides. So now we have YP is equal to CXY minus TX. And notice we still we still have a little bit to do, but what does this expression and this expression, what do they share? They share an X. So we can do the reverse distributive and factor out that X, CXY divided by X, the X would cancel, leaving CY, and TX divided by X, the X would cancel, leaving T, and now look at this expression is attached by multiplication. So we're just going to divide both sides by the CY subtract T. And what you're left with is X is equal to PY. I put it in alphabetical at the end. Uh, this stuff moves. That's CY subtract T. Just like that. All right, so I think I might have another one. Okay, I want to get A by itself. Let's do it another way. Let's get this by itself. So I'm going to subtract X over B on both sides. So now I have T over A is equal to this phrase, but this is a fraction and this isn't. So that's, there's an invisible one underneath there. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by B. Now we have B, E, F, D, subtract X, all over B. Well, now we have a fraction equal to a fraction, but we want A to be in the numerator. So what can you do when a fraction is equal to a fraction? You can flip both sides. I'm going to change the ink to black. So now we have A over T is equal to B over B, E, F, D, subtract X. Now to get A by itself, the only thing left that we have to do is multiply both sides by T. And now we have A is equal to B times T over the expression B, E, F, D, subtract x. And that's it. That's all there is to it.